Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss respiratory changes in pregnancy. Though I have made a video on the uh, physiological changes on the pregnancy uh, during the pregnancy, uh, in which the respiratory changes also uh, also included, but I, I I really wanted actually to make it uh, uh, in detail. So that's why this video is there. Okay, no time waste. Let's go. Respiratory change in the pregnancy. That means the physiological change that comes during the pregnancy because of the pregnancy there are a lot of change that come in the pregnancy just like here see this thing total lung capacity functional residual volume respiratory reserve volume tidal volume all these things are changes but first of all to know those changes we we, we really want to know actually just revise what is lung volume uh, what are the different lung volumes so that's why i have included this chart to make you understand the lung volumes so this zero line here the uh, zero line here is the zero line here is is a state uh, where you just have expelled normally okay just imagine yourself and try to learn this thing it will be very easy for you you are breathing normally just imagine you are breathing normally and you just have expelled normally expelled and you are in the state where you just have expelled and you are going to inspire in, in inspire or inspire you are going to have an inspiration just after this moment so this moment is a zero level okay at this level you take it zero then you take normal inspiration what will you take you will take tidal volume Tidal volume is 500 ml. That means normally it is considered as a, if you if you are sitting here and you, you you are breathing in and out, you are just taking tidal volume in and tidal volume out. Okay, 500 ml in, 500 ml out. That is called tidal volume. Now suppose you are going for some activity, or you are just running, or you need more breathing, or sometimes you are doing yoga. And you and the, your yoga teacher tells you that you take as much as air as you can. So what will you do? You will take as much as air as you can, and that will be inspiratory reserve volume. Above tidal volume, you take some twenty five hundred ml of volume. So that will be this thing, inspiratory reserve volume. This thing. That will be three thousand. Okay, sorry, that will be 3000. So, 3000 plus tidal volume 500 that will make inspiratory capacity. What is inspiratory capacity? 3500 ml. And about, among them, 300 is inspiratory reserve volume, which you can inspire if you want. It is reserved for you. It is reserved for those conditions where you need more oxygen. So, inspiratory reserve volume is a 3000 ml is a reserve volume. You can inspire if you want. But in generally, uh, normally at the level, at the room, you don't take this IRV. Okay. So, what is inspiratory capacity is a sum of tidal volume and inspiratory reserve volume. Okay. Now, <clears throat> now uh, let's say you are sitting again at the zero level. And you are told by your yoga teacher to expel air in your lung as much as you can. So you try to expel the air from the lung. Okay. At the zero level. That will be expiratory reserve volume. That means once the, the word reserve means it is not done in normal. Uh, in, the, in a normally sitting uh, sitting position or you are in the you are just having normal conversation with someone in the room relaxed reserve means it is reserved for conditions where you need a oxygen you need more oxygen you are in a heavy activity at that time when you are just inspiration and we are doing inspiration and expiration very uh, uh, speedy at that time this reserve volume will be used so like inspiratory reserve volume that will be again same as expiratory volume expiratory volume will be 1000 ml <clears throat> so what is expiratory volume 
when you are sitting in normal position when you are in zero condition and you try to expire air as much as you can that will be expiratory reservoir volume that will be 1000 ml here now comes the residual volume residual volume is the air which you cannot take out of the lung some amount of air will be there in the lung whatever as much as you want to expel it out but you cannot okay that will be 1000 ml the residual volume is very important it keeps the lung inflated for some uh, some amount okay otherwise the lung will be collapsed okay so residual volume that is 100 1000 ml takes uh, uh, the lung to uh, to have some inflammation in them okay so total if you if you see total expiratory reservoir volume and residual volume that will be that will be functional residual capacity what is functional residual capacity frc is 2000 ml is a sum of expiratory reservoir volume and residual volume so what is frc FRC means when you are just sitting in the room at the zero level, when you just have expelled the tidal volume, but still the amount of air remains in your lung, it will be FRC. And that will be sum of ERV, that means expiratory reserve volume plus residual volume. Okay. Now, what is vital capacity? Vital capacity is, what is vital capacity? Vital capacity is sum of inspiratory capacity plus expiratory reservoir volume. What is inspiratory capacity? 3500 ml and expiratory volume, sorry, expiratory reservoir volume 1000 ml. So it will be, yeah, I have just some uh, the amount wrongly. The inspiratory capacity IC will be. Uh, 3500 expiratory reserve volume will be 1000 ml so the vital capacity that is VC which is very important it is 3500 ml plus 1000 ml that will be 4500 ml this, this will be the vital capacity vital capacity is what the air that comes in and out the total air when you are having a heavy breathing when you are in, uh, involved in a very heavy activity, you need your body need uh, more and more amount of oxygen. So you try to inspire as much as you can and you try to expire as you much as you can. Okay, so that will be vital capacity. Now what is total lung capacity? Vital capacity plus residual volume will be total lung capacity. And what will be that? 5500 ml. Total lung capacity. 5500 ml <clears throat> so these are the lung volumes that we are discussing now we will discuss what change occur in the pregnancy total lung capacity is decreased by 4 percent the uterus in the uh, during the pregnancy the uterus becomes more and more bigger and that acquires some space so the space for rest of the organs and the lung is included in that, those organs, it will be decreased. So total lung capacity will be decreased by 4%. Okay. Functional residual volume. See here. Functional residual volume. It also decreases by 10 to 12%. You know that you know this thing. What is functional residual capacity or functional residual volume? That will be expiratory reserve volume plus residual volume. It will be also decreased by 10 to 20 percent. Expiratory reserve volume will be also decreased by 15 to 20 percent. So both are decreased. Residual volume will also decrease. See, residual volume here is also decreased by 20 to 25 percent. And expiratory reserve volume decreased by 10, 15 to 20 20 percent so the functional residual capacity will be also decreasing by 10 to 20 percent okay 
so this is the, this is the uh, thing now <clears throat> tidal volume is increased see tidal volume means when you inspire when do when you do inspiration and expiration normally that will be increased by 30 to 50 percent in pregnancy so the pregnant lady is taking more air than you at the normal level at the normal level of activity basic level of activity the the pregnant lady is taking so tidal volume is increased by 30 to 50 percent that means the pregnant lady is taking more air than you like 50 percent okay so the respiratory rate if you see the respiratory rate is not changing so this is a very very important aspect of physiological changes in the pregnancy that though the minute volume or the tidal volume is increased but the respiratory rate is not increased the vital capacity is not changed okay why it is not changed vital capacity is not changing see what is vital capacity <coughs> is inspiratory reserve inspiratory capacity plus expiratory reserve volume <clears throat> okay so inspiratory capacity means tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume plus erv <clears throat> so the expiratory reserve volume is decreasing see here you can see 15 to 20 percent decrease in expiratory reserve volume and uh, so why the vital capacity is not changed because the tidal volume is increasing that's why the vital capacity is same respiratory capacity is same peak flow is also not changed Metabot metabolic rate is also increased because the fetus is also a tissue which metabolizes very 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 uh, speedy so yes metabolic rate is increased oxygen consumption is also increased by 20 to 33 percent so the, the the very basic things are that the respiratory change does not increase what decreases what decreases <coughs> the expiratory reserve volume and residual volume what increases tidal volume what remains the same respiratory rate and vital capacity okay so these were the real changes of uh, respiratory system during pregnancy thank you friends